Hello and welcome to Web Plus. Today we'll be looking at an exciting feature, which is the slide on scroll action. This allows you to animate an object, such as a panel, picture, or text, so that it slides in as you scroll to it on the web page. For this example, we will go ahead and create a blank site, naming it Slide on Scroll. We can leave all the other options at their defaults. Now, in order to create a working example of the slide on scroll, we will have to make our web page long enough so that we are required to scroll it. To achieve this, simply mouse over the bottom of the page until you see the resize icon, then click drag down to increase the page length. To begin with, we'll keep it simple and animate a picture to slide in. From the Quick Build tab, click and drag a picture frame onto the page. From the Pictures folder, we will add a picture onto the page. We will also want to drag the picture far enough down that we will have to scroll to it within a browser. Now, I can right click the picture and choose Edit Picture to bring up a series of tabbed options. Under the Actions tab, I can click Add, then choose Slide on Scroll, which presents me with a few options. For now, I'll leave it sliding in from the left of the page, and keep the offset at 100 pixels. In order to speed up the sliding in motion, you will want to drag the speed slider to the left to lower the millisecond value. Conversely, to make the slide last longer, you can increase the value by dragging to the right. For now, I'll leave it at its default of 500 milliseconds. Click OK to confirm the settings, then click OK again. We can now preview the slide on scroll effect. And as you can see, when we scroll down, the picture slides on from the left. Scrolling back up, then down again, repeats the effect. Let's try something a bit more advanced. This time we will keep the picture static, but have a panel slide in that contains some text and a small image. Going back to the Actions panel, by right-clicking the picture and choosing Edit Picture, we can highlight the Slide on Scroll action and choose to delete it, then click OK. From the Quick Build tab on the left, let's click the Panel option then drag a horizontal shape onto the web page, positioned roughly over the picture. Instantly, a dialog box pops up, prompting for a background choice. Clicking on the box marked Transparent, we will go for a light grey background with a border. Next, we will navigate to the Action tab, and, like before, add a slide on scroll. This time, let's increase the speed that the panel will slide on with. I've chosen 250 milliseconds. Now let's add some text by clicking the text tool in the Quick Build tab and click dragging a small selection within the panel. We will want to type something relevant to the picture. Let's add a small icon that can sit alongside the text. I'll use the Assets browser for this accessed from the Assets tab, and search for the word Question. Adding the icon that appears in my Asset Browser by clicking it, I can then click-drag it onto the web page and position it to the left of my text. Previewing the page at this point, I can see that the panel, which includes the text and graphic, slides on as intended. Finally, let's create something more attention-grabbing in the form of a picture and some text that both slide on from different directions and overlap each other. For a tasty example, I'll insert this picture of a cooked piece of steak. And using the Edit Picture option, add a slide on scroll action, making it enter from the right at a speed of 500 milliseconds. I'll then add some text over the top left part of the image.
right click and choose Edit Properties, add the slide on scroll action and make it enter from the left at a slightly longer speed of 750 milliseconds. Additionally, I can make the text a hyperlink, which shows that slide on scroll objects can be functional as well as visually interesting. I can also add some drop shadow and a subtle reflection to the image. You can add a number of effects to images that are used as scroll on slides, just as you would with static images. Let's go ahead and preview this now to see the finished effect. Very neat! You can use this feature to great effect where you can have an object, overlay another object, or where you can make objects meet, for example two pictures side by side. A great example is where you want to have a punchy photograph gallery, where you can stagger the speed at which the photos slide on for quite an exciting effect. That concludes this tutorial on using slide on scroll. To find out more about WebPlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thank you for watching.